On Monday, Alabama Senate candidate and accused child molester Roy Moore held a campaign rally in which he called the allegations against him completely false and impugned the integrity of his accusers. The threat of that response might have been enough to silence the women he stalked and assaulted as teenagers in a previous era. But on Tuesday, one of the first accusers in the original Washington Post story, Lee Korfman, fired back at Moore with a letter published at Al.com. You sent out your spokesman to call me a liar. Day after day, wrote Korfman. Finally, last night, you did the dirty work yourself. You called me malicious, and you questioned my motivation in going public. Korfman then laid into Moore for his vicious character assassination and his inability to own up to what he did as a 14-year-old. I did not deserve to have you, a 32-year-old, prey on me. I sat quietly for too long, out of concern for my family. No more. I am not getting paid for speaking up. I am not getting rewarded from your political opponents. What I am getting is stronger by refusing to blame myself and speaking the truth out loud. Dot, dot, dot. I demand that you stop calling me a liar and attacking my character. Your smears and false denials, and those of others who repeat and embellish them, are defamatory and damaging to me and my family. I am telling the truth, and you should have the decency to admit it and apologize. Generations of powerful men have preyed on vulnerable women like Korfman. Now at last they are empowered to speak out, and it is time that Alabama do the right thing, stand in solidarity with Korfman and the other women, and reject more.